Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger coming again with a new build video. Today we're going to take a peek at Caitlyn. So that's what we're doing because that's something to do, I guess. Because, you know, build videos. Woo! Anyways, uh, here's her stuff. She's a uh, ranged carry. Thank you, Riot, for telling us. Uh, also, her attack is strong. I would almost put her health worse than that because she's really squishy. Anyways, moving on to her abilities. All right, first we're going to talk about her passive, which is called Headshot. Um, and like how it says, every few basic attacks, Caitlyn will fire a headshot dealing 150% damage to a champion or 250% damage to a minion. Um, it's basically every eight shots or every four shots if you're standing in a bush, I think. I think that's right. If it's wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, so yeah, it's fun. Uh, when you're laying, try to save your headshot. You'll see it when you get it, because it, your like hands are like has like sparklers in them. It looks like so. When you have sparkler hands, go shoot an enemy, not a minion. Unless you want to kill a minion, then shoot a minion. But I'd shoot an enemy. That's just me. Moving on to her Q ability, which is her Piltover Peacemaker. Caitlyn revs up her rifle for one second and unleashes a penetrating shot that deals physical damage. Uh, the damage then subtracts uh, as it goes through multiple targets. So basically, if you hit them head-on, it's going to do more, or if it just hits them after it hits a handful of m minions, it's not going to do as much. But it's a good move. It's got completely awesome range on it, so you can poke people from really, really good distance. Um, so yeah, that is her Q ability. I usually take that first, depending on how I'm going to play her, but there's a couple other options you can do, and I'll talk about that in the lane. Second, we're going to talk about her W, which is her Yordle Snap Trap. She sets up a trap, and uh, yeah, when somebody steps on it, traps them and immobilizes the enemy and does a little bit of magic damage. Um, doesn't really do too much damage, though, to kill people, unless for some odd reason you'd build AP Caitlyn, but I don't recommend it unless you're just trolling or something. Um, but yeah, it's good to put in bushes, or it's great for having set all along so you can have good escapability if uh, they come and run up on you. So you'll always have a way to get away. Uh, I think I demonstrated a couple times in this video. So, But yeah, uh, good strategic placements of the trap is very nice, and you'll always learn new little places to put it that can help you out. So kind of have to play around with it. Moving on to her E is her 90 caliber net. She fires a heavy net and slows her target when it hits. It also recoils Caitlyn and knocks her back. It's uh, obviously really good for getting away from people. If they're right on your face, you can hit them with it. It slows them and it sends you back uh, a little bit, so you have some distance in between you. Um, so it's nice for running away. It's also good for chasing, too, if you shoot it behind you, so you get pushed closer to them. I like to do that and then immediately use my uh, Piltover Peacemaker. I kind of like to do it as a combo thing. So you can do that with it. You can also use it to get through thin walls as well. So if you get your back to a wall, you can jump uh, ledges or through walls by, like, Baron or by Dragon. So um, kind of a fun thing to use there. you got to utilize it the right way, though, to get the most out of it. Then moving on to her ultimate, it is Ace in the Hole. Caitlyn takes time to line up a perfect shot, dealing massive damage to a single target at a huge range. Um, Anybody can basically walk into your alt, though, to stop it from hitting on anyone else. But basically, you snipe somebody, so it's guaranteed to... Well, I can't say guaranteed to hit, because I guess you could be uh, Vladimir and go into the ground with blood pool. So, but it's uh, you know it's good for ending people, especially if they're really far away. It's uh, pretty good to get people, if you come in late to a fight and they're running away and no one's there to stop the bullet, then it you know you can take out people. I do that once in this game, too. So that's her abilities. And this is what she looks like. And yeah, stuff like that. Fun things. Tips. Kill people. Story. She's from someplace. And skins. She has a few. All right. To the game. All right. Now that we're actually in the game, we can start talking about the build that I'm going to do and uh, runes, masteries, all the fun stuff. So, as you can see, I have started with a Doran's Blade. There is many... Why am I walking in a bush? Wow, sweet lag, low recorder. Anyways, um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to take crazy damage here because I totally forgot about her passive for her crit, so that hurt a little bit. But anyways, I started with the Dorn's Blade this game. I would either start with the Dorn's Blade or if you just want a little more sustainability for the lifesteal, um, start with a, a Vampiric Scepter so you can start building, you know, at least you'll have more lifesteal. 
So yeah, that's uh, the two items I would go with. I here am starting to hit Ash back a little bit, so could be a fairly balanced mid game since we're both you know ranged. And yeah, so fun stuff. So like I said, I started with the Dorn's Blade this game, and I'm just auto attacking because I'm getting that tiny tiny bit of life steal back, and she's not. So I'm trying to just get a little bit more health than her because I will attempt to make a move on her in a second since she's staying around and she's lower than me. So. And when I do engage, I'm going to do my uh, little snap trap in. I'm going to push it so it pushes me closer to her, and then I'm going to try to hit her with my uh, Peacemaker. So hopefully, right here, it'll do it, and I line her up, and I'm going to flash to get it real quick. And luckily, she stayed in range. I flashed and got one shot off before she flashed, so I ended up taking first blood, which is going to be nice. So speed the footage back up. So like I said, I took Dorn's uh, blade first. And now I'm going to actually go back since I have gold, and I'm going to start building towards my boots. I'm going to go with the attack speed boots. Um, you can either go with those or the boots of swiftness. Uh, all the AD uh, carries are pretty slow, so you could justify going with boots of swiftness if you just want to be a little bit quicker in case you need to get away or catch up to people. But I'm just going to go with the attack speed boots for uh, the enhanced attack speed. So that's what I did, and I picked up a health pot too in case I need to heal up. And I'm just going to keep, you know, last hitting and poking on uh, Ash. So, yeah, because, you know, try to display dominance. And I just got my alt because I hit level 6, which is good. I'm a, I'm a level or two ahead of her. I'm going to also start putting my little traps in the bushes. They have a jungling Olaf, so i got to be careful. I'll, uh, maybe he'll walk into one if I get lucky or not. There I did snap trap a little bit closer to her. She's fighting me, meaning she's going to stick around. Luckily I get my ult off on her, but I'm not going to be able to get away from Olaf. He came in from behind and just not going to be able to get out of that. So Kind of unfortunate, but at least I got a kill out of it for what was kind of a gank, I suppose. But um, like I said, it's going to happen. So now that I was dead, I went back and I finished uh, my boots. And I'm going to wait a second, and I'm going to pick up a Vampiric Scepter as well. So I'm going to start getting my lifesteal. That Vampiric Scepter, I do plan on building into a Bloodthirster eventually, but I'm going to get it for now because I had gold, and if I don't have to go back for a while, that's good. So I'll just be able to sustain myself better with it in lane. Now, there's a couple bigger key items you can build first, in my opinion, with an AD carry such as Caitlyn. You can either go Infinity Edge right away, which is what I try to do, but... It's a little bit harder if you don't get a good farm or some kills early game. Or you can try to go with the Black Cleaver. You'll get your attack speed and you'll get some more attack damage. And it's you know it's a cheaper item, obviously. I think it's about a grand cheaper than a Infinity Edge. So those are two items. If you're just having a little bit of a slower start, I'd probably go with the uh, Black Cleaver. It's just a little more well-rounded. But if you get a good, like I said, if you get a lot of good creep kills early and some kills to actually build towards your Infinity Edge faster... I recommend going for that because you're just going to hit a lot harder and you'll be critting a lot better. So that's what I'd go with. Obviously, I took my alt at level 6 and, you know, you saw me use it already. So that's fun stuff. Here, I'm just minding my own business. Olaf's going to come out. I'm going to hit him. I'm just going to kind of poke back. I get arrowed. Now, I'm actually baiting a little bit here. And now I'll flash. So Olaf was under the tower. He's going to take too many hits and die from it. Ash is going to try to get to me, but that didn't quite do enough and the tower is going to kill her. So, I wish I would have poked her once, but that would have probably got me killed. At least I got one kill out of it, and they both died. So, they're complaining about how it was unlucky. But I did bait them into that turret, and I flashed late to see if I could get one of them to follow me. And it did work. So, that did happen for now. And so, that's happening. And the last time I went back, as you can see, I got pickaxe, which I'm building for my Infinity Edge right away. Because if I can get that damage, that's going to be great for me to have. Now, Pantheon's waiting in that bush, and he's going to either come out and gank... And he decides not to run out and gank. He's actually going to alt in on her in a second. So this is going to be a good way. I'm going to start moving in on her immediately and start chasing her. He does get a stun off, and I get a peacemaker off, and that ends up killing her. So that's good. Olaf shows up. I just kind of poke at him since we got a couple of other guys who showed up, and they're kind of low now. So just kind of poke at him. I'm doing some decent damage, and I'm actually getting a couple crits off, which isn't too bad for... Uh, you know, like 2% crit I have. I go to snipe him there, but they stand in the way of it. That's going to happen. And I'm going to start getting hit here. I'm going to flash, or, uh, I mean, move out of it, not flash. But I luckily barely dodge that, and I poke her one more time. The tower's going to get her, so I get the kill. And, uh, yeah, I am going to get killed as well, but at least I picked up a kill. So it's not so bad of a trade-off. 
I'm doing all right so far. Let's put it that way. Now I wait here a second because I just do, and I'm going to buy uh, my BF sword. So I waited a second, and while I was waiting, Ash did get a triple kill, so that's kind of unfortunate. I don't know what my team was doing, but maybe I should have got to mid quicker, but it's whatever. I'll get over it. And I'm going to keep farming up. I have the most creep um, score, or the best creep score so far, and I'm going to chase Olaf out of the jungle of ours, and I'm just going to kind of poke on people and see if I can get some crits off and all that fun stuff. As for my masteries for Caitlyn, I go 21 in the offense, 0 in defense, and I go 9 in the utility tree. Uh, I just try to build up for damage. Since she does have outrageously good range, um, it's, it's good to just, you know, obviously do damage from the back and kill people so they can't get to you. As you can also see, I'm putting my traps out in the middle of my lane. Now, granted, those aren't any kind of specifically awesome place, but it makes them have to go around or barely try to get through them without getting caught. So it's kind of good for escapability. Um, I am going to get stuck here, and she does actually dodge them, so fair play there. I do flash out of that, and I escape, so kind of close. Now, I would normally go back, but since I do have my life deal, I can actually sit here and get some of my life back. And I can actually see that there's some trouble happening by blue buff. I don't actually move my screen here so but i am sniping olaf and i do get him killed he did pick up um a kill too but that's gonna happen occasionally now i want to go in here and help but i don't really have the most life and i don't want to give them an easy kill and the rest of my team's there so i'm gonna let them check it out i'm just gonna go back and life steal back up to the appropriate health for now but so that's what i do for my masteries like i said 2109 as for my rune setup, I like to go with uh, armor penetration marks. Uh, what do I go with? Manor? No, I don't go. With, I go with armor seals. I go with magic resist glyphs. And then I think I go with attack damage quintessences. Um, it's fairly standard. Uh, I think it's good. Here I'm deciding to go for uh, Shravana because she's alone. I saw that the rest of her team was bottom, so I thought I'd move in on her, and that was actually a pretty easy kill. And then I got the tower too, so that was a double whammy. So, um, luckily I was critting because, or I crit a couple times, and because of my passive, because of the headshot passive. So, that was a good kill to pick up. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to keep doing all that fun stuff, and I'm going to hang out in the lane here. I still got my traps out, so people, you know, it, it kind of stops other people from pushing too, if you let them push minions. So, I like to set my traps up in the middle of the lane sometimes. It's just safer for me. Like, as you can see from me dying a couple times already. Caitlyn is fairly squishy. She will die quickly if you don't get out. So escapability is something you gotta pay attention to. That's why I do take flash with her. Uh, I also do take teleport if I'm going mid with her. If I'm gonna go like bottom lane with a support, I usually, I might not take teleport, but taking teleport on her is good too. Whether or not laning phase is over, if you have a big minion wave backdooring, you can just teleport in on them, and you can take out towers fairly quick, because like I said, I'm building, you know, attack damage, so I'll be able to take out turrets pretty well. So, it's another thing you can do with the late game. I'm going to try to go bottom and stop them here, but I'm not going to obviously get there. So, I'm going to move back here, and I'm going to die. Olaf saw me there. I don't know how. I think they must have a ward, and I'm not going to get away. I do get an assist, though, because they do kill Olaf, so better than nothing, I suppose. And I um, started building my zeal, because I did get my infinity edge. And so Zeal's going to be the next part of what I got, so I just get a little more uh, movement speed, a little bit more crit chance, and uh, obviously more attack speed, which is going to be nice. This uh, build is based upon just having lots of attack damage and then going for the attack speed. I do see a lot of people with Caitlyn and Ash like to build their attack speed first um, with a Phantom Dancer, which is fine because I guess you get movement and you do get your crit, but you don't have enough attack damage to be putting out lots of damage for your crits. So, yeah, I don't know... Phantom Dancer just, in my opinion, isn't the best bet. So here, uh, he's going to try to get away, obviously, but since I was behind and nobody was there to block it, I ended up just sniping him, so that's an easy kill for me. And I don't know how Ash did get away there. She did have her shield, I suppose, which was nice, but at least I did pick up another kill there as well on Shivana. So I got a couple more kills. Like I said, I'm just trying to stay in back. There, uh, a couple more of us are going to die or something. Mordekaiser died to the turret, which was kind of stupid. Olaf's going to show up now, and I'm going to try to fight him for a second, but then he activates his lifesteal, and I'm not going to win this fight, so i got to take off. So I'm going to slow him there with my trap, or not my trap, and then I put a trap in front of me, and he stepped on it. So I got some good space between me, and he's going to try to catch up to me, but I'm just going to, you know, keep running, and I like how I do get away, which is nice. Woo! 
got away. Fun stuff. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to buy another BF sword, because I'm going to try to finish off my Bloodthirster now, so I get even more attack damage and all that life steal there. I just sniped Ash. It didn't kill her, but it did lots of damage. My team's going to finish her off. And now we're going to kind of chase. I'm going to go push these minions up top for a second. We're just I'm keeping an eye on my team while I get rid of these minions, so our minions can start pushing this turret, since we're all kind of going in on that target. And I'm going to move in here and start to, you know, hit people, see what I can do, maybe start critting. Jin does die there. I'm just going to kind of poke. I put another trap down in case somebody steps on it. It's a great way to pick up the kill or let your team step on someone, obviously, or jump all over them. Not really doing tons of damage. Mordekaiser's ghost is running and killing people, which is, they're trying to, which is nice. So I get another assist. Pantheon's doing stuff. I destroyed a tower. You know, all that fun stuff. So, like I said, I did mention that you can go with the Black Cleaver first if you're having a little bit of a slow start. I get another kill there. 437 crit, that was nice. Uh, later on, I do do a couple 1200 crits on some minions and stuff, which is fun. But Alright, like what I was saying, um, sometimes, like I said, if you're having a slow start, you can go with that Black Cleaver. I'm not going with it right now, though, because I don't really need it. I'm getting off the items I pretty much want. Now, that is a good item to get later, even if you did have a good start, because you do get that, like I said, attack damage, and you get that more attack speed, along with the uh, armor reduction as you shoot people with it, so... There I die, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to pick up another assist because my team does show up and uh, Pantheon dies, but I think we chased a few more of them down, which is good, so we're pushing. Uh, score is fairly even, kill-wise, I think. I think we're a little bit ahead, but I'm going to teleport top and just clear some minions and try to push this top lane while my team randomly runs around doing whatever they're doing. I'm currently like 10, 4, and 5 right now, which is it's decent. Um, obviously... I don't like dying as a person. I don't think anyone does, but it will happen. So I went back and I did finish off my Bloodthirster, and now I am going to try to finish off my Phantom Dancer. So I'm getting closer to that. So next time I go back, I'll probably be able to get that done. We're going to try to push this tower here. Uh, he's got his pet there, so I can see that we have people in bushes, and I'm critting Ash, but Pantheon's going to jump in now, and so I'm going to try to snipe Ash. He does jump in the way, but he took so much of it, it just killed him, basically. And then I do kill Morgana there. Ash is going to die, so I'll get another assist. So, And now Shivana, I think, barely is going to get away, which is unfortunate. But or does she die? She's going to die. Good. Happy about that. I like it when people die. It's nice. So, yeah. Pretty much the core basis of this build is pretty standard for most other AD carries, in my opinion. I like to go with, you know, Infinity Edge, Phantom Dancer, and a Bloodthirster for my main key items. Now... After I finish my Phantom Dancer, uh, I'll try to start to focus on survivability, and I'll try to go with actually a Frozen Mallet, because that is more health, and it is more health. And a little bit of attack damage, and you get that slow, which is nice, so you're almost kind of like Ash's, uh, one of Ash's abilities, so it's nice to slow people down and run them down. So, another kill there, just critting people for decent amounts, Ash is going to get away because of the shield, and we're just going to end the game here real quick, so... That's pretty much the core build. I'll put the rest of what I think in the description, obviously. And yeah, you can give it a try or tell me how it works for you. It seems to work out pretty well for me most of the time. And it's better. up again. But that's going to be the game. And uh, yeah. So that's that. And uh, you guys can go ahead and comment, subscribe, and like. I got some other videos you can check out, obviously. We got a Graves build to the top left. We got a Shivana build top right. And we got a 40-minute long game commentary with uh, Skype commentary with all my buddies where I complain about being Mundo and not getting any kills right away and complain about having assists. So, yeah, check out other videos, subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys in the next build video.